Thank you for taking the time to watch this quick instructional video on how to use our exciting feature built into StruckCalc, which is Load Tracker. We have strived to make it intuitive like every previously developed feature that we have created in StruckCalc. We are confident that once you get to use this feature to its capability, you will be able to cut the time to design of your projects in half and potentially much, much more. The prime main feature in Load Tracker is the tracking and transferring of point loads from beams to beams, beams to columns, columns to other beams, and toward the end of the project design, beams and columns to footings. There is no limit to the number of loads you can transfer from one member to another. To transfer point loads, all you have to do is click the hyperlink that is available in essentially every beam module as well as the column and footing module. Click the member for which you would like to transfer a reaction. Click which reaction you would like to transfer. And the live and dead load reactions will be put in your current design module. You can add multiple member reactions at each location if applicable. These loads will be summed up at that load input location. Once the loading is complete, put in the location and you are ready to move on to completing the design of that member. As you add member reactions in your analysis, they will appear in the load tracker link box that is to the right of the screen. These screens let you know which members are directly linked to your current design member, both above and below. If you wish to delete a linked member, you have two options. You can click the applicable hyperlink, select the View Delete option, and pick the member you want to delete. Or you can delete it directly in the Load Tracker link screen. Simply select the member and either hit the Delete button or use the delete button on your keyboard. The transfer of point loads in itself is a powerful tool, but where you can save even more time when you wish to transfer joist and rafter loads is in the multi-loaded, multi-span module. All you have to do is click the uniform load hyperlink, select the previously designed joist or rafter load that you wish to transfer, click which reaction you wish to transfer, and this load will be converted from the member reaction to a uniform load on the beam span. This same feature will work for trapezoidal loads should you wish to put a partially distributed uniform load across any portion of a beam span. The Add, View, and Delete feature works for these partially distributed loads in the same way as the point loads. A recent significant enhancement to Load Tracker is our new wall framing module which allows you to transfer rafter and joist loads to support walls. Load Tracker allows you to quickly transfer these calculated loads down through a structure including beams and footings. You can also transfer the loads from these walls to aid in the design of floor joists, an extremely powerful design tool. When you need to make design changes in your project, Load Tracker can quickly determine if any members that you previously designed have become inadequate. I'll show you a quick example by recalling a project that I previously designed. I'll open up Roof Beam RF B1 and add a 1,000 pound live load at the middle of this 18 foot span. I'll auto size this beam and change it from a 3.5 by 12 Glulam beam to a 5.5 by 12 beam. Save it. Now I can use the Auto Update feature in Load Tracker to check all the previously designed members. We will click the Load Tracker tab, pick Calculate Project, choose Calculate All. Load Tracker will then cycle revised calculations through the entire project and will let you know which members, if any, have become inadequate. You'll be given the option to open all the project members that have become inadequate with these changes so you can update them as necessary. Once you're done with your project, you can use Print Project to print out the design results of all your project members. You can also print a summary report of all the linked members you transferred using Load Tracker by clicking Load Tracker and selecting Summary Report. You are now done with your project. We hope this video was helpful in showing you this exciting new feature in StruckCalc and that it will aid you in getting your projects done easier, much faster, 
and at the same time, more accurately. Thank you for your time.